perfect uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid. And the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town. And uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too. And uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. The Estadio José Alvalade in Lisbon, a really impressive arena, named, of course, in honour of the founder of its occupants, Sporting Lisbon. And as you can see, we've already started here. Forward it goes. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Pumps it into the area. Hoists it forward. Could move up a gear here. And it's hoisted clear. And that's put paid to a promising move. Cuts it out. Cut out in the nick of time. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Australia seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Turn it in. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to uh, to pick out. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. The referee's given a throw. Robbie Cruz. Dashing forward at pace. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. It's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Oh, that's neat. A chance to play it in. It's a good-looking cross. And the half-time whistle goes. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. So your views on the first half? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil.
Here we go again. Australia can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Aimed it. He's had a go! Oh, that probably deserved better. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. And it's played forward. And it's Cruz. Oh, nice touch. And here's Cruz. Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. Yeah, it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. Into the box. And he won't reach that. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Robbie Cruz. Room for a shot. Cruz. Has a pop! It's a goal! Finally, the deadlock is broken. Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Australia break the deadlock. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Can he deliver? Turns and goes back. It's got through, a chance! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. And time is up. What a game. End-to-end, -end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just...